Come on, that's not fair. Don't do it, Lauren. I'm a full house. What are you doing? Show a bluff. Show a bluff. Ace high flush. All in. Am I misreading something? That's about to I love gambling. Absolute cooler. Every time you hit that thumbs up, it's exactly like your first kiss. Whether that was in fourth grade, middle school, high school. What do I call it? On your 50th birthday. When your friends paid someone to kiss you. It doesn't matter. It's like your first kiss. Try it. Tell me if you agree or not. <laughs> Huge draw for Mars. 3,000 in the middle. Check. Check. Luda has a backdoor spade draw. Okay. Now both players have a flush draw. Advantage Mars. He's got a pair. And Luda is going to raise. Mars, we, we know, is not going anywhere. Luda is going to need to dodge a club for sure, a jack. A 10. And look at this. Mars puts in this. Rebex. Wild. Hopefully Luda's not doing that thing where you decide to call and represent the other flush draw if it comes in and of course go for value with the flush draw you have if that one comes in. Because if the other flush draw comes in and you do that, Luda, it will be disaster. Just get the feeling that's what he's thinking right now. I win on a spade river. I win on a club river by pretending to have clubs. Still have seven high. 16,000 to win 37 and change. There's the call. Luda drawing to a spade. Interesting card here. The board pairs. And maybe Luda was planning to bluff. All the above. Board pairing, flush coming in. Check. Check. If he gives Mars a straight, and most players would have a straight after three betting the turn. Oh no. Oh All no. In. All, in. All in. All in. Representing the full house. Mars almost getting two to one on a call against the most aggro player in the game. Not an easy call, but I see this ending poorly. Luda. If Mars calls, this will be a hundred and seventy four thousand dollar pot. 
on Tuesday night. And Luda will be stuck heaps. Count. Mm. Cover me, right? The flop oh. went check, check. Yeah, I think he covered me. Mars bet the turn. Luda raised and called Mars three bet. What's Luda representing? He had a hand like king queen. Wouldn't he have bet the flop? Give him credit. Not many players can put this much money in with seven high. But I don't know that he's telling a great story. And I don't know if this is the opponent to try and tell it to. This is not a big game for Mars. He just wants to make the right decision. Luda is representing a boat. What boats could he have? Pocket deuces? No. What about the flop? I call. Show me that. Boss. That's not a full house. Flash. <laughs> I'm full house. What are you doing? So obvious. I'm a full house. I want a divorce. Okay. How? Twenty-eight hundred. Eighty-four hundo. The cards are flowing for Rampage. What's Andy thinking? Four bet, of course. Open it. Okay, biggest clock today. Don't get too large. Sinon will fold. What does Rampage want to do with Ace King suited out of position against Legend? We know he's never folded. Is he calling and playing poker? Seems prudent given how deep they are. Although being out of position is going to make you want to put in the five bet. There's the five bet. Bump it up. Make it 50 large. How much is that Uh, 175 ish, maybe. 28K to call. The pot would balloon to over 100,000. And we would head to the flop. Andy, a two to one dog. Here comes the call. Pot is over a hundred K. Alright, let's go. Heads up. 
They're 143k effective behind. Bottom pair for Andy, top pair for Rampage. Twenty K. Twenty five large. Oh, twenty five K. Looks like four chips. This pot is getting out of control. And he's getting better than five to one on a call here. He makes it. He needs a seven or a six in a hurry, magic. Instead it's a queen. Pot is 153,100. Players are incredibly poised. Milking him. Rampage leaves 83,000 behind. And he gives Andy another really good price. Better than 5 to 1. It's close. If you get the rest when you bink, then you are getting the right price. You could also be drawing dead. And that's the problem. You don't want to draw to two pair of trips when your opponent has a set or maybe even a straight. Really love the way Rampage has played this one. And over. I don't even know. Who even cares about the fucking button game <laughs> right now? Button. Oh, yeah, I had a button. I actually, I honestly didn't know you had a button. I had to look to make yeah. sure. I, 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 I don't think we care about the button game. Two percent of the matter than half percent of the Rampage has gotten max value tonight. No, I had, I had a good hand. Oh, I didn't know you had a button. Both times against Andy. Once with King Five of Hearts and there with Ace King of Diamonds. I thought you didn't have a button. This kid makes playing out of position against a legend look easy. I think I would have pulled a free pop. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, I thought you had it. Six? I get commission. <laughs> Two. Where's your patch? Uh, oh, forgot. Oh, I have another card. Six thousand. I'm getting antsy, boys. <laughs> I like to hear that. I'm getting antsy. Huh? 
Wow, Henry Call. Sorry, Charles Calls. All right, we're going to run two boards. 188,500. I don't even think we played a rotation. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. But I have a good hand now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Ace King. Oh, he finds a club. I don't think it's so excited. Well, I mean, you think I'm ready for you? It's embarrassing <laughs> for me to show this hand in free flop. <laughs> he format calls it off with the queen jack of clubs, wins the first one. Can he win the second? He has an open ended straight draw. Hey, hey, Come on, that's not fair. Don't do it, Lauren. Again. Come on, that's not right. He can't even look. Dead. <laughs> Ace of spades. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Chop is fair. Chop is fair. Right? Chop is fair. Of agreed course. to chop. He agreed. Has you. <laughs> that was close. All right. Can I have a 25 minutes? Well, yeah. Charles is here to gamble. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll do it. I'll do it. Mike's turn to pick up King Queen suited. Oh, hello. He wanted to play a 200k pot. You might get what you wish for. Okay, 15. Oh, no. Rampage. Poor timing to pick up these 10s. Does he just find the fold? No. Oh, man. Oh. Easily give up. Might have to stack off here a lot of action for king queen suited mike is probably just gonna fold we'll see though i've been surprised before by this man little glance back look away give it to lauren and here we go collision i mean what are you gonna do, Will? You wanted to play a 200K pot. Here you are. Dominating 80% equity. Rampage has had a rough go. You gotta assume he's getting out of line at least enough of the time tonight. I think it's go time. Large percentage of a stack. 25,000 more. He only has 77.3. Come on, man. Call in. Call in. Do you have aces? Once or twice. Uh, you have a pair? Yeah, I have a pair. Okay. You're, you're ahead. Just you're ahead. Let me know, guys. One, he Just said once. once. It's whatever. Here we go, 192,300 will, way ahead, 80%. Do you have a pair? Guys, you both have pairs. Rampage told you you were ahead. That's, that ends it. It's frustrating. Oh man, it's been a rough go for Rampage tonight. I feel for you, Laura. Straddle 
1,000 to go right now, thank JR now, ace king. Things looking up for this man. He's gonna pick up some action. King high flop. I mean, can anything go wrong for JR today? Mike X could do a multitude of things. Some check raising, some calling. Turn card, Lauren. Oh, no. Big bet is in order here. Something in the tune of 25 to 28. Let's see what he chooses. Those are the half pot size. A little smaller than... I would expect, but nonetheless, he's going to pick up some action. He's going to try to fade a club. Ace would be great. <laughs> a shove would get snapped. Don't do stupid, Mike. Thank you. All right, can Mike find the club? 21% off to a river. Lauren, please. <laughs> and that is going to give the check mark to Mike X. Ace high flush. A sneaky one, too. It's like, what do you peel with? You pay for the entertainment. Oh, no. Don't do it, Jay. Who's Eric Berger. Oh, I know Oh, like oh no. <sighs> Things were looking up for JR. And now he loses oh, the 200k pot. Nice hand, Mike. Thanks. Told you it was a sneaky flush. He didn't even see it. Nice hand, Mike X. $100,000 in profit. Get 55 good, good, good fold, Charles. All right, elevator's going up to the 21st floor. Well, one large collision incoming rampage. Mike, what? where are you going? Come on, Mike. Don't worry. Mike, there's real hands out here. All right, rampage air ball. Rampage facing the Five bet cold. These queens are shriveling down quickly when you face the five. Nonetheless, it is Nick Airball, so we flick it in. Well, these fours are no good. That's almost certain. But can we find one? Can we bink a four? Whoa, where are you going? Where are you going, Henry? All right, off to a flop. Henry looking for a four. Air ball. How much do you have, Rampage? One, I started with 165. Doing some accounting. 140, 145 left. Man, air ball's a big dude, just towering over everybody, looking at stacks. Four on, the, oh, four right on the flop. Great timing for Henry. He's in a five bet pot with fours, flops, bottom set. King Henry in the building. No diamond on flop means air ball starts with a check. Rampage now. Flop's an over pair. He's got to be concerned with that jack. Pocket jack's a big concentration of these players' ranges. It's five bet pot. No, he's putting out chips. We expect Henry to mostly just call.
but we'll see. Oh. Unfortunate for Airball, this hand's very likely just over. Unless he wants to jump out the window somehow. This is the face of a man with bottom set in a five bet pot. And this is the man with an over pair that's dead. Down goes Ace King. Henry, 88%. Pot creeping on 100K. I'm the only one who could have Jack Six, that's for sure. That would be a great flop for Jack Six. That's a brick. Still an overpair. Rampage certainly concerned with Pocket Jacks. See what he does now. Now also loses to pocket nines. <laughs> That's why I see King Seven. King Seven off. Oh, King Seven off have some nice back. Slick check from Henry. Well, it's a one SPR pot. Definitely can check this back. Rampage now feeling slightly better with this overpair, but a hammer lock for Henry. Check mark. Check. Value. Name your price, King. One. All of it. One of those nights, Rampage. I've been there. I also don't like folding. But Rampage better than the most of us. Good fold, sir. Show a block. Show a block. Show a block. I saw one card. I cannot see it. Minimal damage. Disaster avoided. Jungle opens to 400, gets 3-bet by his buddy Wesley yet again. These players are incredibly deep. Jungle puts in the call. King deuce of hearts against Jack, nine of clubs. Action flop, top pair for Wes. Bottom pair plus flush draw for Jungle. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know, but one of the guys said Henry the best player for him. Wow. Well, Henry's dad or something? <laughs> that is the first part. This is the first no, part of the other guy was playing with, the with, the a, with, the, with, the, with a big game with the white people and they start to talk. White people? <laughs> 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 How many games? Wesley is not the player to try and push around. The white people game? Which one have the three top play, catch player on the half of right now? And Brick on the turn. One of them say, well, I think the best play in Wesley the house doesn't right now often pot control. He's not going to bet as much as in his hand, but he is going to bet close to pot. Probably with the intention of checking back most rivers. <laughs> Jungle puts in the call. Needs a king, deuce, or heart. It's a deuce. The best card he could have hit. 
He needs Wesley to try and own him here. The top pair. The kid three barrels, yeah. I thought Wes's plan might have been to check back the river. Nope. He's going for value. He's about to get the bad news. I'm going to get revenge on you, Kevin. You're cooler than you ever said. I hate to say it, Wesley. And it's not just because Jungle Man River trips, but this might be an overplay. Jungle could easily have a pair of tens here. Wes is trying to own him. You don't own Jungle Man, Wes. No, you aren't. No way. No, it's a nice one. I thought Miami was a favorite, bro. 60? What are we thinking here? Game four is in Miami too. Sixty-five? Yes. 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 Henry, who, who, do, who do you like? Like the Knicks, the Heat, the Lakers, Knicks. like the Knicks. Okay, we know that fifty's <laughs> going in. How much is going in so with it? Yeah, I like sixty. Yeah. Four, Sixty-one. Sixty-three. Okay. Okay. Brutal spot for Wes. Doesn't bet the river if it's a heart. All in. All in. Am I misreading something? Sorry. Good idea turning top pair into a bluff. Not enough money, however. That's a 216K pot being pushed to the legend shortly. <laughs> That's a bad bluff. <laughs> yeah, That's, a overplay. That's a bad bluff. That's a bluff. <laughs> it was an overplay. I think it was. <laughs> Maybe he had a million behind. Yeah, not enough money behind bad for that bluff. bluff. Really bad bluff. Give Wesley credit. He's owning it. I think he was lighting up some premium stuff over there. Oh no, Airball, they're gonna doom zoom you again. You out of line, dog. Four bet. How much do you have, Rampage? Uh, I bought it for a hundred. I have a little more than that, I guess. How much do you have? How about what do you think he has? He has aces. Well, I guess we're going to peel the four bet out of position with Jack Five suited. Well, now we're in trouble. We have a five. Small bet in order. Mm -hmm. To the tune of $10,000. Turn card, please, Lauren. Oh, he finds the trips. Mr. Airball shoots up to 97%. Rampage on the ropes with aces against the Maniac. I don't know how Rampage can get away from this. His aces. Look at him licking his lips profusely. Oh my God. I'm all in. Rip all of it. Call. I have aces. 200. Oh, he says Once, fuck. Twice, up to you. I'm good with anything. Is he slow it's rolling it? I don't care. Once. He said fuck. Oh, no. He's going to slow roll rampage on. Full house. Cool. Oh. You have a boat. 
200. Two straddles are fun. All the chips. Oh, he says all the chips. All right, straddles off. I need I'm going to go smoke a joint. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love gambling! <laughs> oh, and he's laughing like the Joker in his face. Pulls out a pulls out a little weed out there. Is it, I, listen, I ain't snitching on nothing, but like, my man, you're on camera. When you went all in, I could tell. Oh, no. Rampage goes down to airball. Before that, I and these guys only play aces against me. I'm missing Fucking finally some justice in this world. Straddle is off for the rest of the night. Not straddling again. He's about round. to light up right now. God damn it. <laughs> He's laughing at him. I love this. I love gambling. <laughs> I bet so bad. If you bet that river and I check raise to like 25k and you called, I leave. Very pretty hand for Mike. Except Mike and Dylan. Hoodie with the suit of connector. Okay. One thousand. He three bets it. Three thousand. And Mariano with the cold four bet with the suit of connector of his own. And aces for Ryan. Wow, what a spot. So Ryan stuck a lot tonight. He's got a good opportunity to make some money. He does just cold call the four bet, though. Maybe wants to bring Mike and Hoodie along. Oh, boy. And Mike is going to do even better and put in the five bet. What an amazing scenario developing for Ryan. 10,500. Hoodie gets out of the way. Mariano calls. <clears throat> and now, if Ryan puts in another raise, it's going to look so incredibly strong. Bump it up. 25 large. But he makes it 25K. If he's coolering Mike X, wants to make sure he gets the largest amount possible. A good, good rule of thumb is when a player does two different things in a hand that are pointing in opposite directions. The one that comes last and is for a lot more money is the, generally the one that is most meaningful. So Ryan just called the four bet and now puts in this back raise, what, six bet? Back raise six bet? That's the action I would trust to be the most meaningful. Mariano is going to call the 10-9 suited, try to crack a big hand here. Mariano probably quite aware that Ryan has some sort of premium. Oh boy. Wow. We could see a huge pot here. Bottom two for Mariano. Top set for Ryan and it goes check, check. What a flop. Deuce of clubs might slow things a little, but it's hard to see how a ton of money doesn't go in here somehow. Mariano Check. might think that Ryan has something like kings or queens here. 20. 20 large. Just gonna call. 101,000 already in this pot. Mariano, the effective stack, has about one and a third pot behind. Check. Pretty, 
bricky turn card, or river card rather. And how big does Ryan want to go here? Top set in a six bet pot. Bet. Chunky bet here, about two thirds pot. 70 large. 70,000. Sweat, huh? <laughs> I'm acting like a dumb pup. Ah, it's okay. Pretty fun sweat. Pretty much unfoldable, just so you know, Ryan, but I'm going to just give it a minute just to be extra careful. Yeah, and I feel like Mike had an eye, uh, ace as well, so... So Mariano thinking that makes it less likely he's yeah, be here. Unfoldable. The thing is, 70, if Ryan doesn't have aces, what's Mariano losing to? I just don't understand the flop check. Yeah. It's so weird, dude. <laughs> Strange hand. We're so used to Mariano being on the other side of these kinds of situations. This time it's Mariano who's in the very rough spot. He makes the call, and Ryan Feldman wins a $242,000 pot, the largest pot of the night. Do you have an ace? Huh? Yeah, the queen. Queens, right? Six bet preflop. Mariano comes along. It's sort of strung into putting in a ton of money preflop, and then flops bottom two against top set. I'm not, I'm not at my depth, but I'm getting close. The diamond is exposed. Oh, you tell me for chocolate. Yeah, please. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Build bigger tower, you know. Sixty seven hundred. <laughs> or sixty six hundred. Oh no. Come on. This ain't right. It's a massive cooler. Bump it up. 21 large. Five bet from JR. Big one at that. Henry. Pocket aces. Five bet pot, 42-3 in the middle, magic. 10 high board. I have to presume we're gonna see something like 20,000. 14 large. Start small. Just a call. 70,000 now. Roughly two pot size bets left. 
brick. JR probably feeling pretty good about his hand right now, targeting hands like jacks and tens. Also, no diamond in hand. Doesn't necessarily need to go big. Comes with a half pot wager. 45 large. A little bit bigger than that. Just a call. Looking at a half pot size bet left going to this river. 160,000. Complete brick. It's an unfortunate run out for JR. I assume he's just going to send it. Not really much he could do here. All in. All in and a call. Kings. He didn't feel good about it. You saw it. What it felt like. He didn't feel good about it, especially with the speed of the call. Nice hand for King Henry. 337,000. 100 going over to King Henry. An absolute cooler.